We've been looking at uh, parameters of the immune response uh, that could be modified during a SARS-CoV-2 infection. And we focused on uh, different soluble molecules, including the complement cascade. And in particular, C5A, because C5A is a really inflammatory molecule. And it actually interacts with C5AR1, which is a receptor expressed on myeloid cells that triggers uh, their uh, migration to the site of inflammation and also the production of cytokines. We could measure the level of soluble C5A in the blood as well as the, in the bronchoalveolar lavage fluids of COVID-19 patients. And actually the level of C5A is proportional, commensurate to the severity of the disease. So when uh, you look at patients having pneumonia or patients having acute respiratory distress uh, syndrome, uh, then one sees a major increase in C5A levels. Avdoralimab is a therapeutic antibody that blocks interaction between C5A and C5AR1. It was originally developed on in, in inflammation and later uh, in immuno-oncology to block the invasion of the tumor bed by uh, macrophages. The idea is actually to test Avdoralimab in clinical trials with COVID-19 patients. In a preclinical set of data, we could show that Avdoralimab is indeed blocking acute lung injury in vivo, in a humanized mouse system, and also blocking the secretion of cytokines by monocytes from COVID-19 patients.